the instruction guide for this video down below. Hey there folks, Peter here with BlackRock Business. Today in QuickBooks Point of Sale, we are going to do an operation that comes around when you've messed up on something. You've either messed up on a receiving voucher or a uh, receipt, and you need to do it over again, but darn it, you already saved it, so what are you gonna do? Before we jump into that, I'm gonna have you click on the link down in the description below to get over to our QuickBooks Point of Sale Facebook group. Join up there, we have thousands of members asking questions, giving answers, having a great dialogue. And if you're on YouTube today, don't forget to hit subscribe so you get all the latest, greatest QuickBooks point of sale videos coming at you all the time. So here we go, we have just made a sales receipt recently, or maybe even the other day. Let's say this one from the other day, uh, two days ago. I did it wrong, shoot. Uh, let me see what's on it here. Uh, we did a fuzzy nightgown and we also made a payment on account, which is fine, but the problem is there should have been two fuzzy nightgowns, I guess, and they paid by check. So, uh, this operation is called the copy, save, and reverse method. We are going to copy this receipt, we're going to fix it up and save it, we're going to backdate it too because this is from the other day and then we are going to go and reverse the original one. So, here we go, paid by check, okay. I'm gonna keep in mind that this original one is number 538, because when we go back to reverse it, we don't wanna get confused on which one's the new one and which, which one's the old one. So, we are doing 538, okay. So, step number one, and this, by the way, is is the only way, you can't go ahead and delete uh, a receipt, so this is part of doing it over again. Uh, just follow the process. 538, we are, the first step, we're gonna copy it. That is going to make a direct copy of that receipt. Uh, we do have the sleepwear on here. Like I said, I needed two of those. There was also a $20 payment on account, if you don't, if you remember. So I'm gonna make a payment on account, and it was 20, whoops, $20, which was part of that. And uh, Al Smith, this was paid for by check. So I would re-enter the check number. I looked at the check, it was like, what was I thinking? It was for that amount, I don't know. These, there's always a different situation when you're trying to uh, redo a sale. And this can happen like right away, right after you saved the sale, you're like, oh shoot, that was wrong. Oh, let's redo it, okay copy, fix it, save, reverse. Okay, so we're saving that. And then, of course, since this was from two days ago, I'm gonna go on the I want to menu and change the date right here. We're gonna push this back to six, seven, because that's the day it happened on. And that should be everything. We'll save our new version of the receipt and then we need to go back to the sales history and 538 is that one that we were uh, copying. So this is the old one, this is the new one and we're gonna reverse that one. It's gonna, this is gonna actually create an inside out document that undoes what the original one do, did. Uh, you will note and keep this in mind uh, that when you do a reversal, the reversal happens today. So the undoing of the original document happens today. You can't really backdate that or anything, I don't think. Nope. Do, 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 do. Nope. Yeah, so that's the undoing of that. You'll notice that the reversal is only 3059, and that is because it the account, undoing the account, it's a payment method. So that doesn't come out as part of the total on a reversal. It happened, or it undid it right here. You can see the account charge is undone on the reversal. So don't worry if that looks different, if you have anything to do with account on there. Uh, otherwise, if it's paid for and, and the products are strictly uh, happening by cash or check or credit card and nothing to do with an account, then the number should actually be the same. So there we did it. We copied the original, fixed it up and saved it, 
and then we reversed the original and now we are all good to go everything is fine according to our system according to our quantities they're all put back in the where they should be and uh, everything will go over to QuickBooks Accounting correctly. My name is Peter with BlackRock Business. Go ahead and smash that like button if this helped you out. And you have an excellent day. Bye-bye.